Uh, meantime, the Bidenomics tour continues. The president and members of his administration heading out across the country today to tout the success of the president's policies. But as we said at the top of the show, it's going to be a tough sell. According to the latest Fox poll, 60% of voters disapprove of Biden's handling of the economy. A little better than 68% uh, uh, before, but it's, it's, it's still a disconnect, if you like, between the White House and the Americans. Jason Chaffetz, author of The Puppeteers, joins me now. Great to see you, Jason. Look, we know that Joe Biden is a tax and spend president, so how is he going to sell that economic vision to voters? Uh, I don't think he will. I mean, there's a reason why President Biden has the lowest poll numbers since Jimmy Carter um, and more mm. cowbell, more more Joe <laughs> Biden generally doesn't move the meter. He's just not a good communicator. He's usually filled with gaffes. Um, and I find it interesting when you actually dive down and look at how he's going to fan out and get these administration officials. They're going to primarily Democratic states. They're going to New York. They're going to California. The, going to Washington State, mm -hmm. Pete Buttigieg is, they're already going to be in the Democratic side of the equation. So I think they're saying to the base, uh, hey, we need to still convince the base that, that we're doing the right things. But Ashley, they're not going to move the meter because they're not going to move to drive down the cost of energy. If right. you don't move the price of energy down, you're not going to solve this inflation problem. Very true. Uh, next one for you, Jason. President Biden could actually lose the first primary for 2024 because he won't be on the ballot. The DNC is trying to shake up the primary order, putting South Carolina first, which he did very well in the first time around. But New Hampshire, nah, they're not playing ball. Um, it could be embarrassing for Biden, but I guess the bigger question is, could it really affect the rest of the uh, 2024 race? Uh, yeah, I do. I, I happen to be the hmm. one personally who believes that Joe Biden will not actually be on the ballot by the end of this calendar year. That's just my, my political prediction. Hmm. I think they offended the people of Iowa by abandoning Iowa and that they will pay a price uh, in the general election on a state that is pivotal in the electoral hmm. count. With Joe Biden not on the ballot in New Hampshire, I mean, how is it that a sitting president isn't on the ballot? It's... They're putting all their marbles into South Carolina, They're relying yeah. on on uh, Congressman Clyburn to, to to carry the water for him there. But that's a risky move. It really, I think they're shooting themselves in the foot. But anyway, Jason, we're out of time. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you.